how to create neon text with an animated flicker effect in DaVinci Resolve 17.4.6. Inside your project's edit window, hold and control and press I to insert an image that you will use as the background for your video. Use command instead of control if you are a Mac user. Once your chosen image has been inserted into your project's media pool, go to effects. Underneath toolbox, select effects and click and drag one of the Fusion Composition effect filters to your edit's timeline. The default frame rate for this particular edit will be 24 frames per second. I will select the Fusion Composition clip also and hold in Ctrl and press D to change the duration, where I will double this from 5 to 10 seconds of screen time. Right click on your Fusion Composition clip and go to Open in Fusion page. Inside your Fusion Nodes panel, ensure that Media Out 1 is deselected. Hold in Shift and press Space. Use the search box at the bottom to find a Text Plus node. Select this and go to click on Add. Click on the grey box to the right of Text 1. Hold your mouse button down and drag this to the yellow arrow alongside Media Out 1 to make a connection. Click on either the left or right view options underneath Media Out 1 so that you can preview your neon light effect above your Fusion timeline. With the text node selected, go to Inspector and underneath Text, type in the message that you wish to have appear in your video. For your choice of font, ensure that you choose a style which makes your characters italic and appear similar to handwriting. Here in this example project, I will select Freestyle Script as the font. Depending on the font that you choose, you may wish to see if there's an italic option which appears from the menu where you would see regular appearing underneath the font name. Keep the font colour as white and choose an appropriate size for your message below this. Select Shading. Choose the Text Outline option next to Appearance. And for the thickness variable that appears, reduce this value to 0.01. Select Layout. And underneath Rotation, increase the Z value to 10 so that the text is displayed at an angle. With the text node still selected, hold in Shift and press Space and go to add a Merge tool. We will use this node to apply our flickering animation to our video later on in this tutorial. With the Merge 1 node still selected, hold in Shift and press Space again and go to add a Gaussian Blur node. With this new node selected, under Inspector and Controls, change Strength to 0.21 to add a gentle blur to your white text. With Gaussian Blur still selected, hold in Shift and press Space and go to add Drop Shadow. Under Inspector and Controls, to make the shadow stand out more, double the value for Shadow Strength to 1. To have the shadow appear directly below your text, change Drop Angle to 45. Adjust Drop Distance to change the gap between the shadow and the text itself. The value for this variable will depend on the font that you have chosen. In this particular project, I will insert the value 0.008. And to apply a solid finish to your shadow, decrease blur to 0. With Drop Shadow 1 still selected, hold in Shift and press Space. And go to add the Soft Glow node, which we will use to add the coloured glow effect to our neon text. With this new node selected, under Inspector and Controls, the colour options underneath Filter will need to be adjusted depending on the colour that you wish to apply to your neon effect. In this particular project we will apply a pink colour to our text. In order to do this, we must first deselect the green option underneath Filter. And to make the text brighter, deselect the Alpha setting. To further intensify the brightness of your glow, increase Gain to 8. And to spread the coloured glow out more faintly, increase glow size to 25. And to reduce the solid look of this glow, so that the background that we will eventually implement into this video becomes more obvious, decrease blend to 0.65. Go to Disconnect Soft Glow 1 from Media Out 1 by clicking on the second part of the yellow arrowed line closest to Media Out 1. Deselect Soft Glow 1 by clicking anywhere in your empty nodes grid. Hold in Shift and press Space and go to add a second merge tool. Go to open your media pool. 
where you will find your inserted image from the start of your project in the master bin. Click and drag this to your nodes grid, where this will be represented as media in one. With this new node selected, hold and shift and press space, and go to add a brightness and contrast node. To ensure that this image is presented in the background, we must connect the output of this brightness and contrast node to the yellow arrow alongside the second merge node, whilst the soft glow node will be connected to the green arrow above merge 2, which represents the foreground. Then connect merge 2 to media out 1. To make the background image darker with your brightness and contrast node selected, under inspector and controls, reduce brightness to minus 0.7. Ensure that the alpha setting underneath controls is also deselected to ensure that a darkness effect is applied. Now to add the animated glitch effect to our text. Go to select your first node, text 1. Holding control and press C to copy. Deselect text 1. Holding control and press V to paste. In order to create the glitch effect, we will apply a duplicate of our text on top of our original characters so that a darkened character will appear periodically throughout our video. Connect this duplicate text node to the green foreground arrow of your first merge tool. And with this duplicate text node selected, under Inspector, select Shading. And underneath Properties, at the very first frame of your video, 0, select the keyframe diamond icon alongside Color to add a keyframe to this point in your video so that the white colour shade is maintained until we change the colour in a later frame where the neon light text will flicker. As previously identified in this tutorial, the frame rate of this fusion composition clip is 24. Using the frame pointer below the timeline, I will advance forward by one second of the video to frame number 23 and select the keyframe diamond icon next to colour once again so that a white shade is applied to our text in the first second of our video clip. In order to make a particular character go dark abruptly, we must ensure that a darker shade is applied to our chosen character after only another single frame. So here in this project, I will advance forward to frame number 24, double click on the color box, and use the vertical bar on the far right side of this color window to change the white shade to a dark gray color. The hexadecimal code that we will apply here will be hash 2C 2C 2C. Click OK, which should create a dim neon effect. And to create the quick flicker effect, we must return to the original white shade that we applied to our text after only a small number of frames. Here I will advance forward by two more frames to frame 26, and we'll select the keyframe diamond icon alongside color once again. Now going forward to frame 27, I will access the colour window once more and will restore the original white colour shade. To make the flicker effect more varied as the video plays, we will apply a second flicker effect which occurs after just half a second in comparison to the original one which appeared after one second of screen time. I will therefore advance forward by 12 frames to frame 39, apply a keyframe setting to colour, advance forward by one frame to frame 40, Access the colour window and apply the same dark grey shade as before. Hash 2C 2C 2C. Click OK. I will have the text dimmed for a slightly longer period in this particular moment of my video by moving four frames forward to frame 44. Apply keyframe setting to colour. Advance forward by one more frame to 45. Double click on the colour box and restore to white. Using the white keyframe tags on our timeline that appeared as we applied the keyframes to the colour setting, I will drag the red playhead to a point on the timeline when the text is dim. I will use this to identify a character that I wish to have flicker in my video. Here in this example I will choose the letter N. Select text and adjust the write on values from start to end to remove any of the other characters in your message from the flicker effect. And now to make the animation effect loop, select Spline, tick the box next to text 1, zoom out by adjusting the buttons above the chart so that you can see all the keyframes that we have applied to this duplicate text node. Click and highlight all of these and select the Set Loop option below. 
to apply the same keyframes to subsequent sections of your video clip, regardless of the duration of your final clip. Thank you very much for watching, I hope that video was useful to you. If you enjoyed the content and wish to be notified about future uploads on this channel, please like, share and subscribe. Join me soon for another video, take care.